Hi, everybody. Phil Nash here, Suncoast School of Real Estate. Thanks for joining me. Just want to create a, a brief, quick introduction to the uh, course you have probably just purchased. And uh, it's probably going to be the sales associate course. But if it isn't, they usually all look the same. And what you'll see when you actually uh, get into um, your program for the first time is something like this. You've got the course that you signed up for. You are, will be allowed to take the final exam when you get through everything. And you will be asked to sign an affidavit to show that you're not cheating and, few, um, and stuff like that. Also, um, you can view your completion certificate, which you'll need to actually take to the test and examination. Let's have a look at the course itself. You'll see all the units here. We've got 19 units all together and you work your way through um, one by one by one. You uh, can't usually get it into some of them unless you've finished all the others. Uh, but it looks like I've been popping around here and messing around. And the text on this is exactly the same as you'll see in the book. If you want the book, give me a call and I'll send you the book. And I'll just show you. Here is the book I'm currently using. I think this is a 43rd. You can't really see it too clearly. There we go. And um, I think we're on to the 44th now, the beginning of the year. So, uh, and you know, you just go through each and every one. Uh, they're really, really short. This is sometimes there are only one line, um, two. You just click through this bit by bit by bit. And sometimes you get some questions in the middle, but basically you work your way through. I just want to uh, pause this and show you what I recommend you do first of all is go into my videos to go through some of the stuff, um, some of the units and prepare yourself for what's to come on the course. Go to floridacoursenotes.com. I've sent you the password to get into this. Only folks that buy my courses are, have access to this. And you um, select your course, which is the sales associate pre-license. There's a little bit of a blurb there. And here you have all of the 19 units and an individual quiz. Uh, so if we want to have a look at legal descriptions, for instance, then you will get a video um, come up. And the video will come up and it will allow you to listen to me. I'm going on for 15 minutes on this particular one and I've got the volume turned down on it uh, and we'll just pop through all of the bits and pieces uh, that's covered in the book on the uh, um, legal descriptions chapter. A little bit complicated this one but it's a lot of stuff that you do know. Um, and then at the end of that if you're done there then you can go home and oops you can go and then ask uh, yourself some questions. Here's a quiz here. Only 10 questions, uh, but there are different ones from that you'll see on the course there. And you can go through those questions. The other thing I want to explain to you is how you need to go through some other bits and pieces to get your license. If you go to the Suncoast School of Real Estate.com and you'll see here, if you want to get your fingerprint scheduled, you can just click on that link there. And if you want to put in your estate application, there's the link there. You would need to go for initial application RE1, um, unless you've got some other um, choices that you want to go for. But that's the one that 90% of people use. All right, and then scan your fingerprints, and then you would go to schedule the exam. You would have to open up an account with Pearson View, and you've probably already got a big, bigger one. Open up an account with DPPR, and you um, will, will go through that process there and pay your money, of course. All right. Let's see if I can go back. And also, uh, we have um, oh, this is a very important thing here is the Sales Associate Candidate Handbook. This is very useful because what it does do is shows us all of the number of questions that come out of each unit and the subject matter. So it's good reference there because we can see actually that some, some units have 12 questions. You know, the smaller units only have one question, 1%. There's 100 questions in the exam. And when you look at it, and I'll tell you more information about this as we go on, but out of the 19 units, nine of the units actually give you 75% uh, of the questions. And those are the nine units you really need to concentrate on. The other 10 units only give you 25%. So there's a lot to be seen from there. 
And then the final thing I would like um, you to look at is um, the actual prep course, which I would suggest you get um, when you actually uh, finish the course and pass the course exam. Okay, and here we are back at um, your access. To access your courses, you will probably see something like this. And here you have uh, the question, um, Sales and Social Drilling Practice Bank. Click on that. And what you'll have is, um, I've got another video explaining how to go through this, but basically you can set yourself a, a quick quiz, a custom quiz, or a simulate an exam. This is absolutely brilliant because what we'll be looking for at the end of the day, let me just go back to the, on the performance tracker. This is an indication of, listen guys, I've got a 60% average score at the moment. I've only done 1% of the questions, but eventually this will come up to 100% and this will come up to 100%. When you hit 100 and 100, that's when you're ready for the exam. All right, so that's basically where we are at the moment. So what you need to do, first of all, is sign on to get your courses signed up and then get your fingerprints done, get the application in, go through the course, pass the final course, one point you need to pass this course first time make sure you're fully prepared because if you don't pass it first time you get one more chance to take the end of course exam but you've got to wait 30 days to take it the system will not let unless you sign on to a new course and you can go ahead and do it again all right for those of you that live locally um you know that i can come and help you um in your location uh just to do some studying you come to my office or we can do zoom calls i do a lot of zoom calls with other students to um, help them through their bits and pieces and you can text me you can phone me i'm usually available most times i do pride myself on getting back to folks very very quickly and if i don't just nag me until i do that's it guys thanks very much and hope this helps